Hi, I want to talk to you about how to move your designs from Tinkercad. So I'm going to choose that one right there and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to click Tinker This. Now when you first move into Tinkercad, uh, go into Tinkercad, you're going to have a prompt that shows up. If you haven't done it before, you're going to have a prompt that shows up that will give you a tutorial. So you'll be able to mess around with that, um, the direct, you know, follow the directions and do what the, uh, the little assignment says for you to do. Um, if you, for some reason, don't do that, or if you do it and then you forget how to do it, uh, there are lots of videos you can also play around. There's all these shapes over here at the side. Um, you can combine and separate shapes. And so I've just done a simple um, design here that I've put together. It's a little bit messy, but, um, but it'll work for us. So I'm going to come over here. Nope, sorry, over there um, and click on the uh, export button. So this export button will give me some options here if I get out of the way. I'm going to change this to an STL file and then that's going to download me a file in a moment down there and then I should be able to open up that file. Now when you're doing this on the computer, oh, whoop. When you are doing this on the computer in the classroom, it should open it up right away. I'm not sure if that's what's going to happen, so we're going to find out. Yes, it is happening, so we can see that it's opening. I can see it. You can't. Um, that it's going to open up my uh, Simplify 3D. So you don't have to make your designs in Tinkercad. I recommend you do just because it's free and fairly easy to start with, but if you are a computer savvy kind of person and you want to work with Blender, um, which is also free, or some other options, um, that would be fine. All right, so I've opened up uh, the the file. I, I clicked on the file that I downloaded, that STL file, and it automatically opened up in Simplify 3D. It opened, simplified, the video froze, and I had to pause. But um, it, what, what you'll see here is actually I've got um, two files. It, it just had the leftover one from before. So I'm going to click on that leftover one, and I'm going to delete it, and that'll leave me with the one that I was just working on. You see, remember that guy? It's a different color, but it's what what we were working with. You have some controls in here. Um, so over here, I'm, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the size. Um, this little button that has the um, box, follow my mouse up, up there, <laughs> um, it says scale model. I can click on here and increase the size that way. Um, I can also, if I want to, double click on that and that's going to give me these sizes. They're in millimeters to annoy us. I don't know. Um, but you can adjust your, your size um, to what you want to, how big it is you want to print it. I'd recommend, you know, I this is uh, 168 uh, millimeters on the Y, on the largest axis, um, and I think that's probably a reasonable place to be on this one. Um, notice that you can also change the position. So sometimes people come in and their their object is hot, it's above, like it's it's not sitting right, and so you can adjust it up or down or, or over and things like that. I'm gonna close that. Um, and there are other things you can do. You can spin stuff around. You can mess with the proportions. Um, there's not a lot that you should have to do in Simplify 3D. The one thing I am going to check is this process settings. And I'm going to cl click over here to the um, default. I'm on the wrong computer today. <laughs> so what you're seeing is um, not quite what I'm going to see. But I'm going to click here on the profile. And I want to get the correct size for our um, our um, nozzles. So uh, I will have to show you that on the other computer. Then if I'm ready to if I'm ready to print, if it looks like it's how I want it to be, notice that my base went away, or I can't remember if I had a base, but it's not going to print a base for me. I'm going to click prepare to print over here on the side and get myself out of the way here. Now what we can see here in the prepare to print is what it's actually going to print. So you're going to see the skirt around the outside that it'll print to begin with is bigger than the piece. And then you can see there's some places where it's going to make my solid design hollow. And uh, that's kind of the nature of the beast. It, it prints lines. And so if you wanted something hollow, you don't want those hollow because they were going to um, 
explode in the kiln, right? We don't want them that thick. But if you wanted, say, this is treating this wall as an inside and an outside wall, if you wanted to make adjustments to that, you could go back into Simplif Simplify 3D and uh, adjust it there. But for my purposes, I don't see any big gaps. I don't see anything that looks like it's going to fall down when it goes to print. So I'm going to go ahead and save tool paths to disk over here in the... Hey, I always get this wrong. B bottom corner over there. Save tool paths to disk. And then that's going to allow me to put it onto the, the drive. Do make sure that you've got it on the correct um, external file, right? So I want to put it on, yeah, no name is the correct one for in this case. And then I would change it from this. So like you're going to go looking for Grand Elzing and somebody else is going to have a similar one. So I would title it something you can find later on. Um, and then you can click save and then you are all set. You're ready to bring that file, that um, SD card over to the printer.